Hello, I'm Donna Coxon. I'm a solution architect with Zero to Ten. Today, I'm going to give you a high-level overview of Microsoft Dynamics CRM 2016. So why choose Microsoft Dynamics CRM? Well, with 4.2 million users, more than 40,000 customers, ongoing double-digit growth, a healthy roadmap for development, complementary technology acquisitions, you can be sure that your investment in Microsoft Dynamics CRM is safe. In comparison after comparison, Dynamics CRM and Salesforce are equally matched in their features, functionality and processes. So how do you choose between them? And why would you choose Microsoft Dynamics CRM? Well, while others may lay claim to the platform crown, only Microsoft Dynamics offers a truly comprehensive and intuitive business technology platform. Microsoft applications are probably already being used across your business, making Dynamics CRM the natural choice for a system with an intuitive interface that users will get to grips with and get to grips with fast. The CRM technology will easily talk to other applications, so not only are you driving operational efficiency, but you're also unlocking the potential for real business intelligence. Zero to Ten has been at the forefront of Dynamics CRM for many years. No one else has our depth and breadth of experience with Dynamics CRM. The Zero to Ten approach to CRM starts with understanding what your most critical business outcomes are and how we can help you to deliver them. Once identified, we place these outcomes at the centre of your CRM strategy and leverage our industry expertise, our core methodology, our adoption programme and continual learning to drive your success. Having delivered more than a thousand CRM implementations, Zero to Ten have identified these 10 key business outcomes that companies such as yours will be looking to achieve. Organisations focus on three or four of these principal outcomes that then become the key project drivers. So now I'm going to give you an overview demonstration of Microsoft Dynamics CRM 2016. So let's take the scenario where, as a salesperson, I've just had a meeting with one of my clients and now I'd like to update some information in Dynamics CRM. So Dynamics CRM is available on a mobile app. So what I'm able to do is open up my device, open up the CRM app, and the first thing I can see on that app is my home page, which shows me a number of different metrics in terms of opportunities that I'm working on. Now what I want to do is I want to find the account who I've just been visiting with so I can do a quick search here for the account. I'm going to choose Toyota UK and now I'm presented with all of the information that's held in CRM that relates to this particular organisation. And here I can see the detail of the opportunity that I'm currently working on with Jim Sullivan. So what I'm going to do is select that opportunity and now I can see all of the information held about this particular opportunity that I'm working on with Jim. I can see whereabouts in the sales cycle this opportunity currently sits and it's currently in the development stage. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to create a call report just to enter the information that I've captured during my meeting with Jim. So if I create a new activity and select call report, now because I'm using a tablet, I can now use voice recognition to easily create my call report. Meeting to discuss pricing. Jim was happy with the pricing and would now like a formal proposal. So now I can save that activity and that's now captured against the opportunity. Now whilst I'm here, as Jim would like a proposal to formally see the pricing, what I'm going to do is send that directly from my mobile device. So what I can do now is access my Word templates, choose my Opportunity Proposal template, open up that document and now I can see a proposal document pulling in all the detail of this opportunity and I can now go ahead and email that directly to Jim.
So I've had my meeting with Jim, I've come out of my meeting and immediately updated the opportunity with the information captured during that meeting. I've sent the proposal to Jim and now what I can do is move this opportunity on to the next stage of the sales process which is the proposal stage. So by clicking on the next stage button I can now see that the opportunity has been moved into the proposed stage. So any functionality that's available to me within my CRM database is also available to me within Microsoft Outlook. And if I go to my inbox, I can see that since my meeting with Jim Sullivan this morning, I've received an email from him requesting some additional pricing for some other items. So what I want to do now is create this as an opportunity in CRM. So if I track this email, it will now track this communication in CRM against Jim's contact record, but what I can also do is I can immediately convert this email into an opportunity. So here's the opportunity that's been created from the inbound email. And what I can do now is go through and complete the information within the opportunity. The first thing I want to do is just capture the name of the account that this opportunity relates to. So if we enter in Toyota and then I can associate it to the correct account. And now that I've saved these changes, I can go and look at my account record to see the information that I hold about Toyota. So now I can see the screen within Dynamic CRM which holds all the information about the Toyota account record. In the centre of the screen I have the social pane and all of the activity history. So this shows me everything that's happened in terms of activities against this account, including the meeting that I had this morning with Jim and the email that I've just received from Jim requesting a proposal. Moving further down, I have additional tabs of information, including the social insights, where I can start to see all of the information that's available on the internet in multiple different data sources that's relevant to this particular organisation. This is really useful if I'm working on an opportunity and I want to see, for example, if they're releasing new products or if they've had issues at their manufacturing plant. And over on the right hand side, we can see the opportunity that just got created from that inbound email. So what we'll do now is return to that opportunity and start to work through capturing the information. So first thing we see within the opportunity is the process bar. This shows me where I am within the sales process and at each different stage of the process what the key pieces of information are that I need to capture. As we move through completing the opportunity I'm capturing the estimated close date, my rating as to whether I think this is a hot, warm or cold opportunity, the revenue I'll pull through in a moment based on the products that I associate, I'm also going to capture the stakeholders and their roles. I can identify who the internal people are on the sales team and also I can capture who we're competing against. Once I've captured that information I can now go and search my product catalogue for the appropriate products that I need to give a proposal for. and a quantity of five. So now I can see that the estimated revenue has been added to this opportunity and because it has a rating of warm a probability of 50% has been applied to that estimated revenue giving us a weighted estimate of 12,500. So once this proposal has gone out to Jim Sullivan and he's happily accepted it I can now close this opportunity as a one opportunity and close the sales cycle. So a typical example of something that a sales manager would do is to run a sales meeting. And Dynamic CRM give them the tools that they need to do this very easily. So for example, looking at my sales pipeline of open opportunities, what I can do within my sales meeting is say that I want to focus only on the deals that are due to close in this current fiscal period. So if I click on that part of the graph, I can now say let's look at those deals by sales rep or by owner and we can now see all of the deals that are due to close in this fiscal period by salesperson. If we push that information out to a separate window we can then see our chart on the right hand side showing us all of the deals in close by salesperson and we can also see all of the associated opportunities listed on the left hand side. 
and here for example I may want to work with one salesperson at a time so let's look at David Kohar's opportunities and as I click on David Kohar's part of the chart on the right hand side the list on the left hand side refreshes just to show me the deals in close that David is working on and again because we sit on the Microsoft stack we have full integration to other Microsoft tools so I can open this list of opportunities directly in Excel online and I can even edit those records and save the changes straight back to CRM this dashboarding capability and the ability to drill down onto records, to export records into Excel, to truly analyse and see the detail of what's happening within the pipeline, enables a sales manager to improve forecast accuracy and quota visibility. Another great acquisition by Microsoft was that of the Fantasy Sales Team capability, which is now part of the CRM application. So as a sales manager, I'm able to create different games to really motivate and energize my sales team. And on the Fantasy Sales TV, I can see the leaderboard and I can see exactly where each salesperson sits within that leaderboard. The Power BI application from Microsoft is a data analytics tool that allows you to pull data from your CRM organization as well as many other data sources. Data can be mashed up together to give you very powerful data analytic capability. As a CEO, I don't necessarily even need to have access to CRM. I just need to be able to access the data that's contained within the CRM application. And using Power BI, I can have a number of dashboards and reports available to me that allow me to drill down on the data that's being pulled from CRM. So for example, here in my Opportunity Analysis dashboard, I can see that there are 487 opportunities in the sales pipeline. I can see that that equates to a revenue of $2 billion but I can also see the factored revenue, the weighted revenue in the actual sales pipeline of open opportunities is only $461 million. So let's drill down and look at that information in more detail. By clicking on the opportunity count, I can see a report that shows me an overview of the opportunities. I can see opportunities based on whether they are small, medium or large. I can see all of my opportunities based on whether they're partner driven or not. I can see opportunities by where they sit within my sales life cycle. And I can also see opportunities by the region in which they've been generated. Within Power BI, these reports and dashboards are also interactive. So if I just want to look at the information for the East region, I can click on East and the other dashboard metrics will be adjusted to reflect data just for the East. So as a CEO, having access to this level of detail without needing to access the CRM application itself gives me all of the information I need to make decisions and to know that they're based upon factual information. So with that I'd like to wrap up. We've seen an overview of Microsoft Dynamics CRM 2016 from the perspective of a sales executive, a sales VP and a CEO. We've seen how Dynamics CRM enables us to address real business problems and to address some core business outcomes. If you have any questions or would like more information about Microsoft Dynamics CRM, please do reach out to your account director here at 0 to 10. We'd be delighted to help you on your CRM journey. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.